and what happens when the shadows of a legendary figure loom over a new character. The world of Westeros is about to unveil intriguing shifts in its dynamics, especially in House of the Dragon. The series, which builds upon the legacy of Game of Thrones, introduces Ulf, a character echoing the cunning and wit of Bronn. And this dangerous realm, Ulf emerges from the bustling streets of King's Landing, climbing the ranks to become an influential dragon rider. As humor and self-interest bring a fresh now yet familiar vibe amid the chaos of the Targaryen dynasty's power plants. Audiences had long yearned for that unique sarcasm that Bronn once effortlessly delivered, and Ulf seems to fill that void, providing levity to an otherwise grim narrative. But tread carefully as the plot thickens. Spoilers are lurking around every corner, especially for those unaware of the source material, fire and blood. In this fierce landscape of dragons and bloody politics, it's easy to find humor stripped away. However, Ulf's arrival presents a jarring twist, one that challenges the solemn nature of other key players, such as Aeond and Rhaenyra. Uh, Ulf's antics shine brightest in the finale of the second season where his sharp wit collides with the serious demeanor of Jacaris. Whether at dinner or during moments of tension, Ulf's remarks are met with disapproval from the noble ranks. Yet his audacity makes him a character to watch. His ability to navigate high society despite being a commoner draws parallels to Bronn's own journey, adding layers to his motives. And what's meal of them? However, Ulf doesn't merely aim for laughs. He possesses a darker side as he embraces the dangers and power that come with dragon riding. His penchant for self-preservation mirrored Bronn's once uncertain loyalties. While he currently claims loyalty to Rhaenyra, his eyes wander toward better fortunes hinting at the unpredictability that can spiral from his actions. As the story unfolds, it's foreshadowed that Ulf's allegiance may waver, setting the sage for betrayal against Rhaenyra and her followers. The finale hints at Ulf's trajectory toward the Greens during the approaching battles. His motivations cloaked in financial gain and survival instincts could set a perilous precedent for Westeros, pushing him to orchestrate chaos from above skies on his dragon Silverwing. And Alf's descent into treachery promises to paint him as a character rife with contempt, possibly rivaling the surprising nature of Bronn's decisions. The cunning survivalist now sits at the heart of a war, primed to keep audiences captivated, much like his predecessor. If you enjoy exploring the tangled web of Westerosi politics and character development, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button to stay updated. As Ulf navigates his treacherous path, one can't help but ponder, why don't dragons like playing cards? Because they're always afraid of cheetahs. <laughs> and with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.